Presenting that, to be mindful of it. And I think one of those things as far as diversity goes and diversity on the board is that we pay attention to the substance of our issues and we don't get knocked off track by you know, the style of, of that. I offer myself as an example. I'm a middle-aged white male, I'm an attorney. I have a nice suit on. Uh, there's a lot of stereotyping. 
I'm sure uh, many of you might think that you've got a, 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 just by that information alone, you might understand what my background is. But I can tell you, I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth, but a plastic one. I was a non-traditional student. I was in my early 30s. I was uh, a single, full-time parent, a single dad of five kids, two of which were handicapped. I was, um, I had to work, I had to raise the kids, and then I had to find a way to fit in school, and that's why CLC made the difference for me. If the College of Lake County wasn't here, I would not be here today. Um, I know what it's like to struggle with poverty. I know what it's like to be, uh, to, to have to figure out how to do a Pell Grant. I was a Pell Grant recipient. Um, I can identify with populations that are feeling left out, that are feeling overwhelmed, that are feeling discouraged or alienated, that are thinking that the doors are not open to them. But because I lived it. Uh, my kids are now grown, and I, you know, and I've got grandkids. I've had. Uh, I went to school the same time my kids were in junior high. We did books together. Uh, because I'm a, a white male attorney, that doesn't hurt either. But that's who I am. But what I really am is my lived experiences. And so I've lived through a lot of things that are difficult and that I think uh, make me sensitive to what it might be like to come from a non-traditional background. The University Center is one of the best things going here in Lake County. Um, I can't tell you how much I yearned for its existence when I could have used it. It was being discussed, and it was discussed for a long time before it actually got put into place. Now, I spent time working at some competitor schools. There's, uh, there's other colleges, other institutions that know that the market in Lake County is underserved for four-year colleges and degrees. Uh, there's Columbia College of Missouri, there's Robert Morris, which I think is a university now. What they've done is they've opened, uh, and, and for some time now, they've had small facilities, extended study sites where they've actually lowered their standards for acceptance at these places to just a high school degree because and in many cases are different than what they have at the home campuses of these competitor schools they're, they're, they're lower entry standards but they know that there's a population here that is trying to get their four-year degrees uh, that's what college of lake county is serving as a direct competition with, with college of lake county uh, I think we need to strengthen it. We need to market it. We need to make it known. We need to make it known that yes, you can do this here. And whereas we may not have the dorms and the full college experience, you can get a four-year degree. Yes. I certainly have attended events over the years uh, at, at CLC to answer the question and I, I have steered a lot of students here in my role as a counselor and advisor. I also send many of my clients here. Uh, there is a divorcing, divorcing couples who have children have to attend a family parenting class which CLC conducts. Um, in the last few years, it's been the first years that I've really had the uh, luxury of some extra time. Now that the kids have been out of the house uh, for a couple years, I'm an empty nest. So I'm looking forward to spending more time here with CLC. And uh, I believe that the approach that we should have here and certainly, and all as citizens of Lake County, but certainly as a trustee, is that we see ourselves as the worthy heirs of our inheritance of what this college is, how it started, and 
late 1960s on donated land with six trailers to house the classes to what we have here today. What can I add to, uh, certainly there's uh, issues of funding and teacher quality of education. I think that I see the college as, as like a family. It's, you have to hold all the interests together. Everybody who has an allied goal in this, administrators, teachers, and students. I think what we, what you want in a, in a trustee is in temperament is important. I think you're looking for somebody who's sober-minded, sound judgment, analytical skills that are looking at long-term vision, philosophy of the school, and that we're not going to be shooting from our hips. We're not legislators, we're trustees. And um, so it is important to know what the values are, what those long-term values are. And if I was an administrator or teacher, or a student, I'd want to know how do you see the students, how do you see the teachers in this. I'm pleased that what I've heard here is the, um, from everybody, is the value given to full-time uh, professional professors and teachers. I ascribe to that as well. Uh, I would, the only other thing I'd add is that I think that we can do a better job marketing and branding the school seems to me that College of Lake County is one of those people, and we all know someone like that, who is so wonderful, and they've got such a great background, but they're not the best ones at telling you what it is. So I think we could get better at making that known. Um, and, and just the point on, on naming rights, uh, something within reason, sure. Uh, I, I'm just sensitive that often in our times, our current political times, where there's such a push for privatization that we avoid a mindset of ever wanting to sell off our assets. Thank you very much. I think the question, I want to pull it back a little bit. I, I think it fits into this category as, as I heard the question is that one of the trustees' roles is to hire the president, to evaluate the performance, to see if it's in tune with the college mission and goals. And I think that that question falls under evaluation if the president's doing a good job with it. One of the things that concerns me is that I've heard some things here today that perhaps could blur the boundaries of what a trustee is and what an employee is. I mean, someone's hired to do that job, and that's what they should be doing, and I, I would not favor the trustee taking their hand and walking into that area to help them do the job. I mean, we can be supported in, in, a, in a lot of different ways, but our role as trustee is one of oversight and accountability, and uh, hiring the right people uh, tasking them to do their job. Um, and if that gets to be a problem, then we address it from there. I want to echo two points. Um, Mr. Creighton, I believe it is. Uh, Mitchell. Mitchell. So, I think it's important to protect and preserve. As, Jerry Songer was just saying about protecting. Mitchell's saying about preserving what we've already got, which is a very wonderful gem, jewel, precious heritage for all of us. I think leadership is not so much about laying, making, coming in with a carefully laid out plan uh, and following that through as much as it is, is working with what we find at hand, working with what we're given and turning that to our advantage. Especially during these times of political uncertainty when there are very real threats about budget. Uh, the, the, we have such a maldistribution of the wealth in our society and we don't want to see education be one of the luxuries that gets cut. It has to be seen as an essential thing. 
my background as an attorney, as an educator, and quite frankly as a father, I, I think enables me to bring the qualities that you would want to see in a trustee. I liken it to the role that I'm sometimes given in my professional life when a court will appoint me as a guardian ad litem in a specific case, which basically means that you're appointed to look out for the interests of, say, a child or a disabled person in the midst of some kind of litigation. That's your role, is to look out for that. And that's how I would see my role. Thank you.